Well, this package usually costs about $3, but I got it at 40% off, so that was about, I don't know, what, 80, let's say. And then this one uh, was a dollar, and I'm only gonna use a drop of it. So yes, I think I can make it. All everybody, welcome to Vero Sweet Hobby. special because it is a part of a challenge that is going around the internet and I've been challenged by Male from La Coquette and the challenge is this you have to develop a recipe or create something that you can eat and you have to make it with less than three dollars do you know what that is that is like really little money it's nothing almost so what I did is that I went to my stores where I usually buy my supplies to decorate cakes and that was just the moment when the idea came to me <laughs> I realized that I can make a Pokeball made out of candy melts and I can make it for even less than $3 and the challenge has been accepted. I'm going to tell you the secret to save even more money. I just bought one bag of candy melt. Instead of buying a red one and a white one, I just got one white one. And also, I bought a red candy melt coloring. Remember that it's important that it is specifically designed for candy melts. If you use any regular food coloring, it's gonna cut it and the consistency is just not gonna work. Trust me, I threw away many candy melts before. We're gonna split this bag into two bowls and then we're gonna start melting them in the microwave and remember to do it for about 20 seconds at a time. I'm taking these candies to the microwave, but before I go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There's a red sign down below that it says subscribe, so press the red button. And if you wanna get all of my notifications, don't forget to press the little bell to get all of my videos. Let's go to the microwave. So you put it in the microwave, take it out, then um, stir it a little bit, and then put it back in for about 20 more seconds until you see that it is completely melted. Ready, both parts of the candy melt are completely melted and cooled down, and now we're gonna paint one of the half of the candy melts with some red coloring and we're gonna add as much coloring as we need. You need to use small plastic ball molds that can even be Christmas ornaments. Cover them completely with candy melts, being very careful to make sure you cover the whole half of the ball, especially the sides, to make sure they won't break when you take them out of the molds. When they are completely covered, place them in the refrigerator for five minutes and then in the freezer for two minutes. Here comes the tricky part, which is to take them out of the shells without actually breaking them. For that, you have to actually put your whole hand inside of the mold and start pulling apart little by little, really slowly, all around the circle. Then, with all of your hand, carefully take it out. And that's it, we got it. Very good, I have all of the halves ready to go. They're out of the shell. And I have right here a pan that is really hot. I'm gonna put it aside, be careful. And then you have to melt a little bit of the sides and that is gonna be our glue to get the whole ball. We put it in the pan for like one, two, three, four, five. That's it, take it out. And then do the same thing with the red one and we glue it together. I am so excited with these Pokeballs. They look amazing. I hope you guys can see this texture. It looks really light and soft and the colors are perfect. And now the final touches is just a black belt and the two buttons in the middle.
am so happy with these Pokeballs. I think they look pretty awesome. And at the same time, they're super delicious. So kids, I'm sure they're gonna be super happy with these Pokeballs. And did you see how easy it is to make them? It takes just a few minutes and a little bit of practice maybe. And everybody, remember that I post videos every Friday. So subscribe to my channel and I'll see you here next week. Ciao, 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 ciao.